Hello everybody! This is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with another motor vlog on the X22 GT 250cc automatic street bike. Playfully called by my friends the Hyper Scooter. It is nighttime. I have never ridden this thing at dark, so I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what it looked like with the headlights at night. Um, it's all LED, so if we look at the front, you can kind of see uh, some uh, light coming out. It's very uh, half circle ish. I don't know how to explain it. Imagine a circle in the bottom half, and there's a line through the middle, horizontally, and then uh, whatever you have, uh, delete the top part, and whatever you have on the bottom, that is this headlight, uh, which is good, because then it's not uh, too tall and blinding everybody as you go by. So, as you can tell, it doesn't drive any different at night, but it certainly has plenty of light, and you can see the dash, see the tachometer uh, you can also see the uh, signal lights there's a the signal light you can even see them blinking on the ground they're so bright uh, I love the body panel signal lights on this bike uh, kind of keeps you from having stuff sticking out but at the same time uh, it gives you plenty of notification to those drivers around you that you are signaling to the left also at the same time it's very obvious you have your signal light on. It is very common for me to leave my signal lights on on most of my bikes because the indicator is very, very small or unnoticeable. But it is not for sure unnoticeable on here. If you look at the car in front of me, you can kind of see how the bottom half of the car is highlighted and not the top half. But yeah. It's great. So what do you think so far? Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a moment and stop off at a parking lot and I'll show you kind of what the lights look like at night. So uh, you'll get an idea of what people will see when they see you. Now keep in mind the, uh, the uh, signal lights in the back. I did the uh, fender eliminator and the modification. If you wanna know what that looks like, the link is right up here. I'd like to get a fuel test on here to see what the mileage is someday, but that would require me to drive a lot because apparently it takes a long time to, to drain gas in here. I put three and a half gallons and stopped because I didn't have enough money in my, my, my pocket and cash to go ahead and pay for that gas. And I also didn't set the time on here. It's much more obvious I didn't set the time now that it's uh, daytime because, I mean nighttime because I can, it's like glowing in front of you. But see that half moon circle look? That's that projection beam in the front. And a skunk died here somewhere. Woo! I can smell it. You gotta be careful because that skunk smell will stick to you. I'm happy with the way this lights up. I feel safe that it's wide enough, not too narrow, and I can see both sides of the, way off to the side on each side of the road. So let's go ahead and get to a stop so I can show you what the lights look like on the bike. All right, so we've got a parking lot up here at this bank. We're gonna go ahead and turn it into here. And at the same time, we can also use it to cut the intersection, but I'm gonna get off the bike. <laughs> so we'll turn into the, the parking lot right here we'll stop okay so here's the bike at night there's the tail light don't know why my license plate and then here is the front running lights without the headlights and the halo on there Hopefully you can see that well. And then you got your signal lights. See how it's on the body panel? And you can see it from this side, and you can see it from this side easily, as well as the other side. 
And then the mod I did has that for the signal. I think uh, that movement makes it a little bit more obvious that I'm going to the left as well as to the right. Or to, <laughs> to the right and then the left. I don't know my left and right. Um, I can't start it on the kickstand because of the safety, but you can imagine that these projection lights are on. I love the halo and the and the little accents around here. Everything is LED. Anyways, I just want to make a quick video about this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, and you get a little bit of an idea about this bike. So, uh, if you guys like this, go ahead and give me a like. And if you want to see more stuff like this, give me a subscribe. If you want to get this bike, go ahead and visit uh, Venom Motorsports website. And I'll leave a link and everything provided below. Anyways, thank you for watching. And I'll see everybody in the next video.